All right, I'm, I'm going to zip back to our fly again because we're going to talk about flash and I'm going to actually cut that off and just show you real quick. We'll just kind of zip through another woolly bugger here and uh, just to give you an idea of, you know, on this fly where you can use flash and how it kind of makes, adds a little something to it. So first thing we're going to again throw on a little tail real quick. We got a nice weighted fly here. So we're going to do a weighted fly without a bead. And so the first place, you know, and all flies are going to be different, and I'll talk about the pheasant tail a little bit, but for this fly, you can add a little bit of flash in the tail. Um, and, and I, you know, only in a little bit, you don't want to put a pile, so you might even only, I've got some crystal flash here, and this stuff comes in these little strands, and I'm just going to clip off probably about four little strands that are just a couple inches long, um, and I'll switch these around, and maybe three or four, and I'm just going to throw these back on the tail, and you know, just what you do is on the tail, I like to spin them around, just get them, I'm kind of just rotating them around the body, so then I'll just do a loose wrap, and then come down, and so I got, you know, a little bit there, so now there's just a few strands in that, and the water is going to stick out very well. Um, so now we got, we got our crystal flash here, another place you can do crystal flash is um, you can actually do a lot of things on the body you can wrap the body with it the tail is a fairly common place um, on the pheasant tail you can do the wing case a flashback pheasant tail so again I just want to show you that with flash there's a lot of different uses for it and don't be afraid to test it out I mean this is one of the great things about fly tying is that we're able to you know right now you can bust out a fly that you know a fly you haven't uh, ever used before add a little bit of flash and all of a sudden you have a different fly so like here I'm just gonna add a one strand you know maybe you're gonna do this and you're gonna wrap the body or maybe you can sometimes you can pull over the top after you do your body material um, you know you might do you might wrap it like that to add some flash in there um, you can always if you have a wing um, a lot of times with steelhead flies um, you know you have your your wing on the top you might add some flash there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that's essentially that's crystal flash. I just wanted to um, point out there's you know there's different types. Um, you got some some flashaboo here. Um, lots of different colors, purples depending on what you're doing. Um, you know there's body material that's that's flashy. Um, so there's a lot of different things, but I just want to, you know, kind of point that out and let you know that for sure, don't be afraid to uh, add something to the fly, and you can see, you know, with this flash, the difference between that and that fly, right? You know, it definitely adds something to it. Um, not always, though. The traditional pattern with just, uh, without flash can be, you know, can be better. So, um, but you got to test. You got to always be testing and uh, and go from there. So we will uh, we'll catch you here with the next one.